I'm trying to find something to wake and bake with. Oh, now I get it. I went to bed. Really? Oh, there we go. I don't think anyone's going to expect me to be awake at this hour. I don't know how long I'm going to be on here either. I just wanted to uh, come on here and talk about burnt toast. I have a thing. Oh, here it is. Oh, it's a CBD. This is mostly CBD. A vape cartridge. So it's mostly a CBD. But then I also have... <coughs> Blue Dream I'm going to try. Or you can just open it savage like this. I wanted to address some things I heard while I was sleeping overnight. BC Blue Dream. All right, let's try this out. Yeah, the CD will help you bring it back down. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I think all the trolls were asleep now. I didn't go live. I only went live about six minutes ago. So... I saw Monty is all but hurt and accusing me of bashing his dead mother. And I have to say, again, like you do with a lot of things in your outlandish theories, <coughs> you got it wrong. I actually said rest in peace and my condolences about your mother passing. What I was bashing bashing according to you, but pointing out, simply pointing out how hypocritical it was of reaction channels to speak on the manner in which I was grieving my dead grandmother at the time. I said a whole prayer, exactly. Yet, one of the most weirdest ways to cope would be to have a panel, in my opinion, in a panel bashing me and now sorry I get to have an opinion on it because it well again the entire subject matter, matter of your panel was me <clears throat> the day after your mother passed which I just find sorry for the term but a little bit pathetic yeah sorry so yes I did bash you for that <clears throat> now for the bum how, now for Tweedledee and Tweedledum hi damn it Amber you keep showing receipts that I'm a stalker so this is your new narrative since you can't get your way any other way and you need to paint a bad picture about me, I'm a stalker. Since I went to your house once last year, once. So since, so since then, <clears throat> his ex's house watching you. I know, because he's a liar. He lied to me all the time. He was spending the time at his ex's house. Of course, he lied. That's what he just admitted to, lying. <clears throat> she even admitted that, that he lied to me about that. Again, you're just proving you're a liar. So you lied to me the whole fucking time, just proving you're a fucking scumbag. And then, and then in that same breath, Dee Dee, stupid simp, has the nerve to be like, if you care about someone, you sit there, you take the time to show them how to edit. Not when they're lying to you every fucking breath of the way. When you care about someone, you don't smack them in the face or lie to them or to fucking overcharge them for drugs or take advantage of them. It's try and sit down and ch what have you ever tried to fucking sit down and teach anything to anybody who's on fucking speed give me a break teach him how to do you know how many times like we couldn't stop arguing for enough time for to teach him how to do anything give me a break this guy doesn't want to be taught anything this guy wants somebody to do everything for him <sighs> has the nerve he doesn't sit down exactly you teach him how to do it blah 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 yeah if we could stop fighting for two minutes maybe i could do that and you know what no, 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 no. Somebody who's serious about their YouTube career, you know what they do? They look up a effing Arabic video on how to edit your own thumbnails in your own videos, like a real man does, doesn't rely on anybody to help him, and he does it himself. You teach your fucking self how to do things. My English is not good. Well, then you watch a video on how to learn English, and then you watch a video on how to do your own fucking thumbnails. 
my God. Quit blaming everybody for all your fucking actions. <clears throat> Hi, Mia. And I suppose Monty's just, he's untouchable. He, he can't be called out for anything, right? <coughs> hey, Dave. So what, you're just going to show all old messages that since I've sent you all those, you've replied to me? So every single thing that I've sent to you in those messages, you were okay with. So you don't have a harassment case. You know why you were okay with that? Because I have receipts of you accepting tons of money from me. You going to hotels with me when you weren't even allowed to be with me. So do you really want to go down that road? You're just going to show me what? That what? I fucking mouthed off, Didi? You don't, what don't you understand of that part? Of <clears throat> the two of you literally drive me insane, drove me insane. I'm responsible for my own actions too, but I'm sorry. Watching you every single day with that friggin' doo doo head mocking me every day when you knew how much I felt for you. Ugh, even just saying that makes me feel dirty because you didn't deserve it because you're a piece of crap. User and abuser. I understand that Monty lost his mom, but that doesn't take away from. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if you're gonna if you, you're gonna announce that, and then come online and continue to bash me, I think it's fair game. Screw you, Debo the Dumbo. <clears throat> yeah, you can be sorry for his loss and equally disapprove of his content. <laughs> exactly, they didn't bash his mom. Like, he's completely. I don't know. I mean, take a break. Fuck. It's just that they, they, they don't have a problem discussing how I should behave in certain situations. So when I do it, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, <clears throat> I'm just giving my opinion right back on how you should uh, probably handle your situation. Mm. Or just pointing out in the manner in which you are is just way weird. Showing they're desperate for content from you, showing older messages, sporting a ring. Yeah, I know. I don't need their approval. <clears throat> They are the biggest hypocrites. They know the end is near for the channel. Yeah. Well. Like, you mo you moved in an entire other woman. At the flick of your... Just the drop of a hat. Because we were fighting. And then conveniently for you, because you never... Officially claimed it. You have room to move in someone else and say, Oh, well. What are you talking about? She's just a friend. You're the biggest, biggest manipulators. You know what I mean? Like, you fucking scramble people's fucking minds and then you, you don't want to deal with the crazy? Fuck you. <coughs> if you love somebody, you'd sit there. I did everything for that fucker that's at your house. Everything. So shut your big, dumb, stupid, geriatric mouth, biatch, okay? I did everything for that guy. I lost myself in the process. So I couldn't, couldn't possibly give anything more. Just like you're doing now, dummy. I did everything. <laughs> the nerve, the nerve. He begs for cash apps. But he has eight grand. Stop stop flashing around Didi's fucking tax money. <laughs> a morning rage. Morning rage! Friggin' right a morning rage. This is when I wake up and see all the bullshit that's been happening when people are beezing behind my back at night. Let's go for a walk. Yeah, I have a lot to do today. I'll be back on later. I'm not going to stay on for very long. I, <clears throat> yeah, I'll probably go for a I don't know yet. I hope you're super tired at work today for fucking simping for him all night, you friggin' loser. And lying for him all night, too. He's such a liar. That night, remember that night that I went to his house to see? He lied and said that his phone, he left his phone at his house the whole night. See what I mean? So, so you just proved every single thing. Every single thing. You, did I you was an absolute lie. Oh my God, which means I oh. oh my God. should never said no. Oh well. Piece of shit. What was the thumbnail? I can't even remember. Oh. Hold on. Hi, <laughs> 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 Kyle. 
Karen, how are you? <coughs> I was in boots. I'm going to I've been so long. I need to ask you. bitch to set up his fucking channel and i did a lot of shit for him so suck my fupa balls all the way to hell all the way to hell and burn in it jesus christ i had my own channel to run i had my own job to do because i was paying for both of our asses and then on top of that if i did wasn't there in two hours because i was doing his video you guys know every time he would call me on live stream it's natter it's natter Telling me to get off so I can go over. Yeah. Mm. The fucking nerve. You know what a real man would do? A real man, instead of acting like an ignorant lying prick, would look at the camera and be like, yeah, you did a lot for me. And I did a lot of bad shit to you. And I'm sorry. Would never happen. Narcissists don't apologize. So what you have there, doo-doo brain. I know you're probably, I hope you're dog shit tired today for work. You fucking deserve it for simping for him all night. I hope your dog shit tired. And you know what? You have Vera's not a real man. You have a boy because you're paying all the bills. You're friggin' stroking his ego left and right and everything else. I'm not jealous. I don't care that they screw. I, I don't, I look at him and I don't want him at all. And it's such a freeing feeling. And I have to rejoice about it at least a few times. It's so nice. I don't know what I saw in this ligament of a man. <sighs> not one redeeming quality, not one. Not one, like you guys always said, not one. I cannot think of a single redeeming quality that's worthy of what you have to put up with to be with this fucking guy. Nobody ever liked him. Except for me, right? <laughs> so, don't worry, loser. I won't keep talking about you. His cooking is not good enough for him to be like a famous fucking internet chef. He has nothing. He's a broccoli looking... <laughs> Not even his baba ganoush. <laughs> well, the baba ganoush, but, you know, I promise. They, no, no, it's okay, bees are beauty. I don't care. I hope they get married. I do. I hope they get married. I would never get married to a man that told everyone online that I'm not his type, but okay. He brought some excitement into your life after closing the BB chapter. Your own issues just stopped you from seeing the truth about him. Yeah, I mean, I was just like, what the hell? No, they're not. I brought him, I brought you into the YouTube world, exactly. He has nothing to offer it. He cannot, I brought you in here, gave you my audience, which is mostly trolls, people who hate me. You have no personality. This is just giving him more attention. Definitely not worth it. Because, oh, he's not worth it. Hi, Sammy. Hi, Sammy. Let's sort out how close that. Well, I'm not going to stay too late right now. I'm going to. Just probably maybe snooze a bit more. I'm just correcting people who were talking shit in the night and have no grounds to. You admitted to lying to me about being like where you were that night. So what makes you think that anything that you and Doodoo have told me is not anything but a lie? And then you have the nerve to wonder why I sent you all those hateful messages in the past, which since you have seen me since those messages, 
so again, what grounds do you have for stalking case? I haven't fucking made any attempts to see you in between that or to talk to you. I've cut you off several times and those messages will prove that. Me going off on you was warranted, I would say. When you abuse somebody over and over and over and you push them to the edge and they fucking explode, what do you expect? Obviously, I'm going to tell you off. That's all I did, though. All I did was tell you off in messages. So, I mean, you're just fucking desperate at this point for anything to pin against me. Instead of, again, instead of examining your own behavior, you're just looking for someone to pin it on. And of course, doo-doo has to have your, wipe your backside every chance, everywhere you turn. Because you're not a real man. You're just a little boy. You treat women like shit. Look how you talk to women. Call them bitches and whores. You're disgusting. And you should be just focusing on your friggin' legal cases. Thank you. Goodbye. <clears throat> oh. No, yes. So, yeah. Do do and shoo shoo. I mean, like, seriously. This guy had pictures of them both sexy in his phone. Trying this, like, literally, I'm like, literally stressing my ass trying to fucking find us an apartment on my dime and my gas, which is very expensive. He thinks he's entitled to it. He don't give a shit. Meanwhile, he's looking through his, he's looking through his phone to, to send me a picture of an apartment he wants me to call or whatever. And there's a picture of fucking shoe shoes, fucking hexagonal face and doo doo, manly jaw. Like, this, what did you, so you just had an orgy with these people, is what I'm guessing. Just speculation. I don't know. You just had an orgy. Because again, he would lie to me. Like, where did the friggin' Ciroc come from then? Where did the fucking booze come from? Oh, like, he would just always lie about the dumbest shit. Like, oh my god. You're just telling me you're trying to be in a relationship with me, getting an apartment with me. And you're having an orgy with fucking Shushu and Doodoo the fucking day before? And then you, you wonder why I send you hateful messages? You make me insane. They said it was my idea. Oh, I pushed myself in the bedroom, you freaking sexual deviant. Again, sexual deviant losers. Bullshit, it was my idea. I was hammered out of my fucking mind on tequila shots. Or was that the tequila night or was that another night? Oh no, this was the night we drank a lot of wine. I drove them back from fucking Montreal. <clears throat> and she was waiting in the bed. If it was my idea, did I tell her to get in? Do you picture me telling her to get in the bed with the bl red blindfold on? Going, yeah, guys. All right. I cannot wait to chow down on some gray nunny. You think it was my idea? How fucking plausible is that? Huh? Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> Dude, she, she was Dee Dee's swinger friend. I tripped over a v v vibrator and landed face first in the gray flaps. <laughs> I meant he said the apartment was your idea. Um, okay, let's rewind here. From the get-go... Mm -hmm, I know, Tiffany. From the get-go... He was only supposed to live with Didi for what? He was getting his own place, right? Right? So how is it my idea? He's the one who needed a place to live. He's the bomb, not me. I have a place to live. I was doing this for you, you dumb, unappreciative fucking loser. Oh my god. I wasn't even planning on living there full time. And he didn't even like that. What, you're going to stay with Pete's? Blah, blah, blah. He had a problem with like Pete's still being here. Like mind your own, but he, he wanted to control everything, all the finances, which I get if you're, if you're with somebody, this is where, this is where it all, all went wrong. Like you drove while you were wasted. No, he's going to try everything again. He has no proof of anything. He's going to try everything to try to smear me. Look like a stalker. I drive drunk, blah, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. He's going to try everything. We support your girl. You have a money car job. What does he have? Nothing. He has DD. He, he would have been cheating 24-7. He does. He does. And he always has been. All the while being a fucking liar to me about it. He doesn't know the mental torment I went through because of him. Just like fucking every single thing. Like he doesn't realize the impact it's had. Like he talks all around. I know he talks aggressively. He does everything aggressively. A drowning will clutch at a straw. You're so right, Karen. Narcissistic loser, yes. He doesn't care. No. 
He doesn't care. It's hard being a caring person like that when this is just all a fucking joke for him. Right? Like, you don't even know the shit I went through. The shit I went through for him. All for, and he doesn't even appreciate an ounce of it. It's all expected. Alyssa, shut up. You better be fucking trolling. I did fuck all to Monty. He wants to be on the internet. It's fair game. They had a right to criticize how I would talk about me when my grandmother died and how I fucking grieved it. Hi, Ivana. <sighs> Ivana Humbelot. <laughs> I love that one. I see Ivana. So he can fucking take it. Dish it, take it. That's my new motto. I didn't bash his dead mother, as he says. I bashed him for being on live bashing me while he's fucking should be grieving. Or I don't know, planning something. Like, I mean, like, it's so inappropriate. <laughs> I am stronger now because of this, so thank you. Good luck with your court case. I don't feel fucking sorry for your fucking ass at all. You even lied to me about that. Big time lied to me about that. And I'm disgusted. And now you're in deep shit and the only one who has to wipe your ass is doo-doo. Very fitting. It won't be me ever again. You want to lie to me about that night? You want to lie to me about everything? Worry. <laughs> Find your own way to swim, buddy. You had it made with me and your karma is going to be that you're going to regret it for the rest of your life. How you treated every single person. Fuck you. Yeah, I know. I still don't know if SA happened. I don't know if I consider it SA or not. <clears throat> All I know is every single thing I said in that report, the police report, which was the fight, which I always stayed consistent with, or the times he smacked me across the face. <clears throat> he's never beaten me, but that he's hit me. As for the SA... Like I said, I said what happened. Some people say that's SA. Some people say, I don't know. Yeah. And of course, I blatantly said this man did not sexually assault me because to get back with him, it's like you have to go online, make it right. Of course. Do you know how hard it is to go back with somebody who like sexually assaulted you or abused you? You can't. Like if you want to go, like I didn't want it to be true and I didn't want him to be known as a sexual abuser because people are going to be like, how can you be with someone like that, right? And even after that, he even said, like, he's, oh, that works full of crap. We always compare ourselves to other people that was worth, but you st still experienced the violation. That's how I felt. I felt, that's why I put that on the report at first, because regardless, I felt violated by it. And I hate, I always say that. I hate when you ask me to do it. You know, I don't like it. Regardless, he knows how I feel. He always asks me to do it. Always, always, always asks me to do it. Every time. And then he tries to do it, regardless. Like, lately he'll stop, but he would still be like, oh, well, since you uh, retracted it off the statement, now I get to do it, like, as a joke. You know, like, no, I don't like it. So for me, I don't know if I would consider it, I didn't want to consider it, like, an essay. Because that is a very sexual accusation. But then again, what we don't realize is that even if you're with a partner, you can still be sexually assaulted by your partner, regardless. Anytime you say no, even if you're married to the person, if you say no, and they still do it, that's assaulting you. And men don't, a lot of men don't even really realize that. They don't care. Men feel entitled to us, especially him. You're going after the wrong person. Go after yourself. I had a boundary and he deliberately crossed it. Well, some people think, some people don't. Some people won't believe me because of course, of course, the reaction channels are all, all after the truth and exposing, but when you expose them, they get dirty. They don't like it. So, sorry. They realize they just don't care. <laughs> you know what I mean? Alicia, your comment. No hate. Your comment's stupid. I literally am just getting out of this. Like, you're acting like this was in the past. Have you ever pictured a time when you didn't? No, because I'm still going through this time. I'm a man and I don't essay people. No, I'm not saying all men essay people. Who said that? Did anyone say that? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> anyway, so, <laughs> Alyssa. Alyssa, are you going to bed soon? I need to go back to bed. Fuck, I wish they had Nashies for breakfast. It's a process. Mm, yeah. Because of those famous words, I changed my mind. <clears throat> People need to zip it and let me figure. I gotta go to bed, too. What happened to tequila night? Um... I'm just saying it's so easy not to essay people. He's obviously in there. 
Yeah, I know what you mean. Alec, yeah. Sorry. Now she's over the whopper. Oh, I said most men feel entitled. I see what you mean. That's how I feel. Maybe that's not fair to say, but I guess most men I've been with, I guess that makes a big difference. No, it's not even true because I've been with some pretty good men. Whopper. I want a Whopper. I apologize to Alec. Sorry, Alec. <sighs> yeah, fuck. They always have a lot to say because they don't have anything else like... <clears throat> Cuba. Go see Renee again. No. All right. That poor 22-year-old's been calling me off the hook. I have my phone on Do Not Disturb, which I forget I have. So now I check my phone. There's five missed calls from this 22-year-old. <laughs> I can't do it. I don't think I can do it, man. I got that toy and I'm good, man. That toy was worth every penny. <sighs> Try to stay awake during the day. I'm tired as shit. I'm gonna go back to bed for a while. Until lunch hour. I, know, I, guess I, I guess it was too energetic for me. I can't be around people like that. <sighs> You're obese. I hate people who start comments with no hate, but and then it's like, I guess I'm gonna go back to bed. <laughs> I just wanted to get up and rant about that. You ordered the same linen spray from where? I just sprayed the, ah. Oh. I sprayed the linen spray on my bed, I love it. <laughs> Passively judged, so the abandoned bomb. Okay, it's okay, Alicia, I apologize. So anyways, I, hey, Stank Jordan. What did Lula say? No, oh, you asked me about the tequila? I don't, what? The tequila night was the, uh, Oh, go away, you idiot. I'm not even going to interrupt my stream for you. Um, I just did. You mean his tequila night or the tequila that we drank at Dee Dee's house? Listening to her playlist. Ugh. Do you know what you put me through? You know how in love I was with you? I was so in love with this guy at the time. I just wanted to be with him and I get there and I have to have a threesome with, mm, I hate you. He never loved me. He was all a lie. So I don't feel good for you. Tequila night if you remember. <laughs> I know like my cats are fine. Fuck. Take yourself to the vet. You need a rabies shot asshole. Of course she's going to say she never had a threesome. Are you kidding me? These people are swingers. They're lying to you guys. They are lying about everything. See, he admitted, I can't believe he admitted he was at his exes. Probably fucking her while I'm crying over him. You are such a fucking asshole, scumbag. I hope you're going to get everything you deserve. Now you're reaping the karma that you, you are getting from hurting people. So don't cry about it. Like a little bitch that you are. And soon to be a prison bitch. I doubt that you're going to be the prison boss at this point. He said he hid at his exes, which he lied to me. He said he forgot his phone at home. You see, he's proving himself to be a liar. <laughs> oh my God, it's all coming out in the wash. And it's not important because I knew it right from the beginning. Everything I knew is going to be confirmed and I don't want to. I don't want to stick around for it. I'm moving on with my fucking life. See you later, alligator. To think I almost simped my life out for this fucking asshole. Better Dee than me. Better you, D2, than me any day of the fucking week. I bet you're real tired at work today. I hope you made your coffee. I hope you have your Van Hoop Dark Columbian. Dee had a three-way with Nader and Rakai. Did they really? He tried, whenever I first, whenever Narakai first moved in, he was joking. He's like, my, the guy who's living here made a joke. Like, I want to have sex too. Yeah, good for you. In your rat documentaries. I want to do, I want to interview Rakai in a towel wall. Oh my god, I'm gonna go look for him in Gatineau. What do you think? I know where he lives. Dee Dee was mean when she said, let's see how Chantal reacts to that. She's the freaking, I bet you she's the freaking mastermind and everything. Man, who? <laughs> she was mocking because she knows she's fucking mad because she knows she's a piece of crap. So dignified. And she, she would just sit there listening to Small Town Boy going like this. And then hoping to get her cat eaten later. Ugh. I hate them all. I fucking hate them. You traumatize me with your flopping on the couch. I hate them both. I hate them. 
<laughs> I'm not going to be jealous. You don't have a prize. You don't have a prize. Let's revisit the trap house. <laughs> he lives right next door with um his exes. Um, his exes mother who's like 85 he's bisexual the rat guy his loss is your gain and her loss <laughs> my god like dude I, <clears throat> what is your future dd like what is your future you ruined your own reputation at your own job so you're literally the laughing stock and on top of that and you have no one to blame but yourself. You inserted yourself in this. You went online, so you're fair game. If you're on camera, I have a right to react to this. So, like, that's what they don't get. Oh, she stalked me and harassed me. You're showing old messages. Since the last ones, I have not messaged him, so that's bullshit. So you're going to go back into your old messages? Like, you're just grasping at straws. You have nothing. She inserted herself into it. Yep. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. There you go. Of course they're running their mouth he has no other content he has no other content apparently i don't either no i had content before natter that's the thing and i will have content way after him too actually if i kept being with him i wouldn't have content she wanted him there you go now you have him what a liar like he didn't think i would ever find out about any of this shit like of course not because he knows his i would cut him off Funny thing is, Dee Dee was jealous of you. That's why she inserted herself. Why Jack? Yeah, she deserves him. Like, sorry, you'd fucking deserve him. It's for the best, even if it's hard to. Yeah, I know you're. I know. I know you troll a lot, Alyssa, but that is words of wisdom. Boring ass. Not. It takes him five hours to make a fucking meal at the same angle. He knows he's boring. And then Dee Dee. Nobody wants to hear her reading comments in her sing song fake ass fucking three's company voice. Ugh. I, I don't know how you guys watch it just to troll i know people just go there for the chat and to trigger them because it's like he doesn't even talk when he cooks really like he has no personality i'm glad i'm seeing him for who he is and i didn't ruin my life for this guy i know people expected me to but you don't know me i am not one no i guess i didn't know myself either huh oh well i care I literally cannot even troll them. It's so unbearable. Ooh, you have a nail appointment. Enjoy. Bongy. <laughs> Didi's voice. I've been blocked countless times from his channel for trolling. It was Debo. Debo. Who blocked me? Now she's new sick beats. The cream peen blues. Oh my God. Ration I need to make new badges today. Oh. They blocked you last night. While I was sleeping, they're talking shit, huh? That's what they always do. Don't you have a case to prepare for? Promise me you will never connect him again. Yeah, I'll never talk to him again. He's blocked. He's staying blocked. <sighs> Showing receipts on a phone that I gave him. All the receipts show is how pissed I was at you. Dick Cheese. Oh, I'm going to write a song called Dick Cheese. <laughs> Peace of beauty. Trolling Chantel has become boring. I'm a trolling Chantel? Oh, trolling me has become boring. I know. Really? Yeah. I guess, because I don't really get triggered the same. It was nonstop. You look like a big, dumb simp, and you look like Chris Farley, bitch. <laughs> Seriously, she has a lot to say now. Because she drinks five bottles of wine a night, of course she has loose lips. Look how I got when I drank all that wine, too. If I had him living with me, I would have to be drunk every day. Just to fuck... I don't know. I'm so, I could never live with him. It, like, the plan was... I guess, like, I was thinking of, like... Because, like, it was so much cheaper than hotels. Getting that apartment. And he wanted to move out. He was begging me to move out. He was like, I cannot stay here. I don't feel comfortable staying with Dee Dee anymore. Chris Fatley. <laughs> he wanted to move out. I even have the text message where he says, get an apartment. He's going to deny that? Like, do I have to show all the receipts? I should make a compilation of all the receipts as well. Proving he's a fucking liar. Dur and the dates show that you were talking to me during the time that you weren't supposed to. So you really want to go there? Oh, like, oh my God. Whatever. We'll see. She looks... Anyway. Who cares what she looks like? She's a fucking liar. 
They're both liars. Enjoy each other's company. Wow. Not a single thing. Because the only reason he was so endearing to me was that I had some possibility that he wasn't lying to me. And now I know it's all fucking shit. While I was screaming and crying in love with you, you were fucking your ex and laughing about it, I'm sure, looking out the window. Like a piece of shit that you are. You are a piece of crap. And you're getting everything you deserve. Oh. Karma doesn't escape anyone. That's all I got to say. He's going to jail. No, you do the crime, you do the time, right? Oh, no, he's not going to be the death of me. I'm just realizing things, Nancy. I'm just realizing things now. He's such a liar. That He was such a liar the whole time. And it's helping me not go back. Or want to. I don't want to at all. I'm actually thankful. I feel like I've missed a bullet. I feel like a bullet has skimmed my head. That's how I feel, quite frankly. I feel like I've avoided a huge, 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 huge um, issue. Hi. Oh, yeah. No, Sammy, because always jump up on this side. Come on this side. Go. 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 She continues to lie for him, dummy. DMI stands for dummy. Goodbye. Actually, that is a short form for dummy. Dummy? Shove your dollar seventy nine up your fucking ass. Doesn't make DD any better, exactly. I have I've lied for him, like maybe a couple times. She lies the whole time for him. Like blatant lies, like about Ashley existing, about everything, you know. No, and every time I've lied for him, I've admitted it and come clean, so I'm better. Thank you. His bullet went through your wallet. Mm. Frank is my true love. Good night, Lisa. As much as I want to echo. You're craving fruits? I'm craving nashies. The bacon spaghetti was super, 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 super delicious. Do you think she lies because she's afraid to tell the truth with him there? Or she's just delusional? I don't know. She was like, well, Chantal, like sometimes it's like lying or for him to go to jail. Remember, I would always say that. I would, that's what she's the way I got that idea from her. Because she was like, lie or go to jail. Yeah, I'm going to lie. Sorry. Because about him seeing me during the time of his pro when he wasn't supposed to because he had a no contact order. So, her saying that she knew him before the recording, yeah. So who's easy? It took literally a stranger from the internet to come down. Like, honestly, he's such a scumbag. Scum, you deserve everything you get. Everything you get. Sexual deviance. Are you kidding? If what you're being accused of is true? Oh, I just want easy to grift. No, I'm not. And I especially not anymore. No one's getting a fucking penny from me ever again. Except Kevin. <laughs> and then after that, yeah, I think so too, too. It doesn't look good for him, honestly. No offense, but when I found out the real timeline, oh, I fucking hate him so much. So that's it. I'm coming. Okay, guys, I got to go to bed. Hello, be in my voice. Bye. I'm going to have a sleep. I'll be back later. I have been to bed. I went to bed early last night and I just woke up. But I'm still sleepy a bit, so I'm going to lay down. She was giving him a BJ that one stream. I don't think so. I don't know. But it doesn't I just want you to know it doesn't matter if they if, if they start admitting they were fucking or he admits to more lies like being at his fucking exes. I just don't even care. Like I I don't care. Um all he has on me is those fucking stupid I harassed him with with uh, telling him off with messages of course I did you're a fucking lying piece of crap who abused me the whole fucking year what do you expect a nice fucking hug and a kissy kiss fuck you and you bitch you came down and inserted yourself in this so eat it up I, oh you're gonna get your karma too you're both getting your karma right now don't blame me for it the universe is getting you back for what you dished out so enjoy it I know they were in bed eating apples yeah Anyway, good night. Who cares about the messages? They got nothing. Thank you, Tutu Free. I agree. <laughs> They're both trying to take advantage of your YouTube status. 
She's got to be working right now. I'm sure you have meetings. I hope you're tired. <laughs> That's okay. I'm going to get six hours. Your Uber's almost here, Matter. Him, him, just for example, how he's a real man. He's up all, he's up crying early in the morning that he has to go to court for actions that you fucking did. Ugh, grow up. Anyway, good night. Max has a shit ton of crazy messages from me too. Who cares? Breakups can be messy. Exactly. You're proving nothing because you've answered them. So <laughs> good night. All right, guys. Thanks for listening to me, Ben. Bye.